Hi, my name is Kevin Canyon. My assignment is Dr. Eric Tao, and my advisor for Dr. Eric Tao and Professor Patrick Watson. I did my captain on the interactive 3D flight through of the business and information technology building. So, promising. So the building needs a 3D, a 3D fly through to be able to show the visual perspective of how it will look and feel. And the university needs to communicate to, to potential donors and also to CSU faculty and students too. And the donors need to be, be able to interact with the building to sponsor specific spots as well. So the solution to this. So basically the solution is to create a 3D, or create a 3D interactive fly through of the building itself. And this flythrough will show the exterior of the building of how it will show. And this was in a collaboration with other students in the ITC, in the ITCD department. So the methodology. I collaborated with Tony Tran, Samantha Barnhouse, and Stephanie Goringer on this project. Each of us worked on a different part of the environment. And work from Autodesk Maya, which a lot of the match objects were created, were integrated into the UD3D environment. Now I'll give a, a demo of the environment. So as you can see, this is the this is the building itself. <laughs> and yes, there are bikes. <laughs> Garden on the second floor as well. Okay. So from this, from the pictures, the first picture, as you see to the top left, that is basically shows the wireframe of the mesh in Autodesk Maya. It's basically you start building the mesh itself. And that's like how I first started building the building itself. Uh, the second picture you see below it, that's <coughs> it's still in the building process. There still need to be adjustments in it, and it hasn't been fully color detected yet, but it's getting there. The third picture in the top right that you see, that shows it in Maya. Um, it shows the building's more completed, and it shows the color and texture and design a little more. The fourth picture you see right there below it, it shows the building as it looks and feels and you need to gain while you're testing it. The fifth picture that you see from the top left, it shows more of what it looks, it looks and how it feels in Unity 3D. And then the sixth picture shows at the bottom, uh, going back to my end, do any type of corrections to the mesh or texture or grain and sort of that you want to correct. And the seventh picture to the right, Shows testing in Unity in Unity 3D again to see like oh how does it look how does it feel so <coughs> it functioning properly. So the process I used for this project was first I mold and textured in Autodesk Maya. I I I build all the mesh and I add, I add the textures and everything. Um, the second step was importing this into Unity 3D. So I had to first export the objects out of my, out of Autodesk Maya and I had to import it into Unity 3D. And then when it was imported into Unity 3D, I had to test it in there to make sure it functioned properly. And then number four was to go back in Maya and do any corrections like the design from four, like if you had to change the texture, how to change the building, and sort of end up. And uh, number five was to re-import the models and textures in Unity and do any corrections you need to do. And I just basically did stuff three through five continuously, so I had to go back and forth through this process. And Adobe Photoshop is also used repeatedly. If I just wanted to mess with the texture to give it like a different color to the building, I just went to Photoshop itself and just, and just did it there. <coughs> so the tools, so the programs and files I used was um, Autodesk Maya itself, Adobe Photoshop, um, UD3 itself, the four, the four programs for the building itself, and I also used Dropbox for files and everything. 
So what I learned from my capstone project were very important skills. The first one was time management. Time management was very important in this project. It allowed me to allocate and put a lot of time in my project throughout the whole semester and throughout the whole year. So that was very important. Uh, collaboration was another one. It helped me get the feel of how to work in a group and how it will feel to work on future projects with other people. Also, it allowed me to hone my 3D modeling skills as well. I learned a lot more in Maya. I learned how to how modeling functions a lot more and other functions in Maya. Also, the course that helped me with work experience of how work will be in the future. As I conclude, I want to thank all my family and friends for all their support. I also want to thank Dr. Eric Tao and Professor Patrick Watson for all their help and support through this project. Uh, thank you for your interest in my capstone project. For any information or questions about my project, and you want to get, and feel free to feel free to demo it. Please visit my closure session room one fifty six. Thank you.